EK Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. Bledsoe is up there with Booker. Then it's P.J. Tucker. Then it's John Luer. And it's Chandler in at the five spot. Azili. Outside Curry. Green, the screen. Thompson passes to Curry. Lock at six. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now here's Booker. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, the Phoenix Suns played well overall last season, but they still couldn't match up against some of the teams in the West. Had a hard time with in-conference battles. And for the Suns last season, Greg, they ended with a record 21 and 31 against the Western Conference. It's something that you can point to, Greg, as a reason they failed to make the postseason. Uh, great point, Kevin. And the big problem for the Suns were the other Western playoff teams. Only went 8 and 22 against the top eight in the West. Kicks it to Tucker. From the arc. Back to Bledsoe. Traps in the tray. Three points. Bledsoe's got five. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Curry can't get it to go. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Bledsoe against Curry. And Tucker has it in the corner. Green with the rebound. Ill-advised shot there, Clark. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Here's Lure. There's a good screen. Now here's Booker. Defense right on him. Chandler dishes to Lure. And the rejection by Azili. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Warriors have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. But they get it back. Out of bounds, Phoenix takes possession. Phoenix ball. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And the pass to Lure. Back to Bledsoe. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And, folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what. He may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. And the rejection by Azili. Here's Thompson. It's deflected. Bloodsoak kicks to Booker. Back to Bloodsoak. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. Spates checked in for Festus Azili. Igudawa comes in for Barnes. And it's Livingston in for Curry. And the Suns here with a different look. Alex Lenz checked in for Chandler. Mirza Toledovic comes in for John Lua. Warren's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Brandon Knight in for Eric Wutso. Here's Knight after the main shot from Andre Igudawa. Thompson outside. Here is Livingston. Back to Thompson. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. Yeah, and watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Now here's Knight. 
Glenn kick, kicks to Booker. Drains it from beyond the arc. Booker's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Inside. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Warren. Knight kicks to Warren. Takes a three. Another three for Phoenix. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pass. And really nothing like a good old-fashioned throwdown to get a team going. And Greg, they do need to get going. They wouldn't mind, you know, shaving a couple more points off that lead right away. Well, if the defense keeps giving up easy baskets like that, it won't be a lead for long. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Toledovich. The 10-footer. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Toledovich has got five points so far. One second left. Can't get it to go. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Suns lead by seven. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Phoenix. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Suns. Warren is out there with John Lewis. Then there's Ronnie Price. Then there's Brandon Knight. And it's Chandler in at the five. Phoenix with the ball. Following the score by Golden State. Feeds to Price. Down to five on the shot clock. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Livingston kicks to Barbosa. Screened by Bogut. Barbosa passes to Livingston. There's the dish to Rush. And that one's good. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the ball and still get it to fall. I like to call that stick to itiveness, Greg. Getting everything he possibly could out of that play. Nicely done. <laughs> good call. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Phoenix. Bunso comes in for Brandon Knight. Stolen. And even three-on-three -three break. It's deflected. Chandler with the steal. Price against Zigudo. And Bloodso, here we go. Chandler dishes the Bloodso. Launches it. Warriors with the rebound. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. And that one's good. Price. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Here's Iguodala. No good. And Phoenix the other way now. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Different look here for the Warriors. Pastis is Ely. He's jacked in for Iguodala. Harrison Barnes comes in for Brandon Rush. Ian Clark's checked in for Leandro Barbosa. And Curry's subbed in for Sean Livingston. Well, the, the term dream season can be applied to Steve Kerr's first year. Comes in and sets a franchise record in wins and also wins a title for the Warriors in his first year. Still unreal. Shot clock at three. Ludzo off target from the baseline. Here's Barnes. The shot misses. Nice D from Chandler. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Price kicks to Bloodso. Here's Chandler. And down it goes, jamming that one home. 
And a few more points tacked on to their lead in the cruelest way possible. You're right. Yeah. Those putback jams sting, don't they? My goodness. Yeah, they really hurt you. I mean, the defense forces a miss and then can't rebound it and finish off the defense. They're hanging their heads in their chest now. Lenzo passes to Price. Good ball movement here by the Suns. To the right side. Baseline try. That one rolling around and rims out. And he has slipped into a fog, Clark. You can see the confidence is shaken. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very much deflated. The basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, and the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. Suns lead by four. One ten left to play here in the half. And the can by Bledsoe. And what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And really, last season, it was supposed to be a battle between the Warriors and Clippers for that Pacific title. But the Warriors just ran away with it. Won the division by 11 games. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Spates checked in for Azeel. Green comes in for Andrew Bogut. Lynch Thompson in for Barnes. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark to the hoop for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. For the Warriors, it was the third time they've ever won the division. Last time coming in 1976. Clark, it's been a while. It's been a long time, but they did it in style. 13 and 3 record against the rest of the division. That would be the best in division winning percentage for any team in the NBA. And the jam by Stephen Curry. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Now here's Knight. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. One get kicks to Knight. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the Suns lead by four. Looked like he was channeling Bob Cousy right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble like that? Yeah, you know what? I think he thinks he can make a few improvements to how things are going on right now. Yeah, you know, coaches always are looking for ways to tweak things and change it up a little bit, no matter what the situation is. That's what coaches do. It'll count. No good. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Eric Bledsoe really making a difference here. Always been a dynamic scorer, and, and we saw in that first half the entire repertoire on display. Yeah, he's a hard man to keep down, and so far they haven't found the answer for him. I don't know if there is an answer for him, quite honestly. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Eric Bledsoe really making a difference here. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. The Splash Brothers are the guards. Barnes and Green of the forward set. And it's Azili in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. 
the Oracle or Oracle <laughs> Arena was rocking last season with good reason the Warriors would finish a league best 39 and 2 at home last year. And how about that 39? Well, it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And you can tell that pass just hung in the air for a long time. Yeah, exactly. Long enough for him to get a hand on it and knock it out of play. Now, here's Thompson. He has seven. And Chandler sends it back. And he recovers it. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a, that's a, that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. Thompson again. Bloodsoe. He dishes it to Tucker. He feeds it to Booker. Outside for Bloodsoe. Another three for Phoenix. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. The drive by Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but, boy, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Some changes for Golden State. Andrew Bogut checked in for Azili. Igudala comes in for Draymond Green. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. And for the Suns, Lenz checked in for John Lure. T.J. Warry comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Brandon Knight in for Eric Bledsoe. And Phoenix has possession. Knight against Thompson. Knight dishes to Warren. Len passes to Booker. That one goes. Count it. Yes. Booker's got five. Their second half has started quite well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. Livingston kicks to Thompson. Powered down with both hands. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got power in bunches on that two hand. Now, here is Knight. Over in the corner, Chandler dishes it to Knight. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Knight's got the lead up to eight now for the Suns. Now a timeout called by Golden State. What a year for the Suns in terms of transactions. Start of the season with Dragic and Thomas on the roster and moved them both part at the deadline. And you know, most folks saw the Dragic trade coming after his disagreements with the team. The Thomas trade was a bit of a surprise, though. And the Warriors making a change here. Spates is checked in. And Phoenix also making a switch. Jelenovich is checked in. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Pass to Warren. Here's Booker. Off target from outside. And as you said, the Suns made a flurry of deals at the deadline. You knew they would move one guard, but ended up moving two. Brought back one as well. And the slam dunk by Spates. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely threw that one down. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. When the Suns made all those trades, you kind of figured there would be some adjustment. And they did fall off a bit. Still, they felt what they had wasn't quite good enough going forward, so they got a jump on rebuilding last year. And check out the bounce. Oh, bounce? Bounce to the ounce, Clark? How about that? Yeah. All right. You Showing said it, off right there. Good move. You said it, my man. He's a highlight reel waiting to happen. 
no question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. So many great statistics are available to demonstrate just how dominant the Warriors were last season. My favorite is G8, their point differential. You know, to be able to beat your opponent by double digits on average is something only eight teams have been able to do in the history of the league. It's amazing. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think you got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Green, he's checked in for Barnes. And then for Phoenix, Lures checked in for Len. P.J. Tucker comes in for Warren. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for Knight. And Bledsoe, here we go. And he gets it to go. Tucker's got his first bucket in this one. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. Thompson is double. Shot clock at six. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Thompson's got 11. You got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded out physical game. That's the kind of look they can continue to go with. Maybe that'll help them create. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. Phoenix ahead. They lead by three. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. On Phoenix, looking who they've got on the floor. Chandler out there with John Lewis. Then it's P.J. Tucker. Then there's Bledsoe. And it's Booker in at the two guard. And it's Bledsoe off the drive. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Warriors trail by three. And Thompson kicks to Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And that's now eight points for Steph Curry. Key buckets, and we know he delivers down the stretch. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's foul number two for him. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Andre Igudal. Brandon Knight, he's checked in for Phoenix. Chandler kicks it to Tucker. Out to Chandler. The feed now to Tucker. Puts up a three, and that one's good. And the Suns lead by four. Despite his ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. Passes it to Lua. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And, guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. He kicks it to Chandler. Taken away. And it's the Warriors on the break. Curry's got the ball. And it's Thompson with the jam. And, and guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Chandler dishes tonight. The shot is off. Great tee that time from Curry. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Knight into the lane. Green with the block. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Tucker. Outside for Bledsoe. And again, it's the Suns missing. And it's the Warriors' ball. 
They've got an eight nothing run. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Knocked loose. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Kicks to Chandler. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And, Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. That indicates the importance of great on-the-ball defense as was displayed right there. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr was going over with his team. He told them, the game is right there for the table, fellas, but we've got to be first. First to lose balls, first to the rim. We have to give our all right here. Kevin, now's the time. It's stolen by Green, and he gets the bucket. Now it's a four-point Warrior lead. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. Here's Barnes, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. Phoenix, no good that time either. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Thompson passes to Azili. Green, the screen. Curry attacking. Green kicks to Curry. Five to shoot. Here's Azili. No luck. Now the Suns take it the other way. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling defense for forcing the miss. Exactly, Greg. I mean, defense like that really increases the degree of difficulty on that shot by a large amount. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. Thompson outside. To the inside. Curry. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second free throw. No good that time. He really wanted that one. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. I mean, you've got to have more awareness on the floor and not make those kinds of errors. Yeah, brain fade, brain neutral error, and those will cost you. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds clock. You know what? They showed their character in crunch time, though, doing what had to be done to send these fans 